Welcome to this video on the axis of rotation. In this video, we'll talk about some of the principles related to eye movements and specifically to fixed axes and listings plane. So what we know about eye movements is that eye movements take place around the axes of FIC. And there are three axes that relate to this. So if we have a look here at an illustration of a cross section of the eye, this is the cornea here. We can see the three axes. This is the z-axis, the vertical axis. Here is the horizontal axis, the x-axis, and the y-axis. And each of these passes through the center of rotation of the eye. Now, any action that occurs around one of these axes will be very specific. One axis will uh, relate to a horizontal eye movement, another to a vertical eye movement, and another axis to a torsional eye movement. Let's take a closer look at this using this image where we've got a bit more of a 3D perspective. And if we take the right eye, we can see here the z-axis, the vertical axis. And what you can imagine is if you rotate around this axis, what will happen is you'll get a horizontal eye movement. So you'll see the eye either move out towards the ear or in towards the nose. Here with the um, horizontal axis, if you rotate around this, you'll see vertical eye movement, so the eye will move either down or up. And with the anterior posterior axis, what we get is a torsional eye movement, so the eye will either intort or extort. Okay, so any movement around the z-axis will be horizontal, a movement around the x-axis will be vertical and a movement around the y-axis will be torsional. Let's now discuss listings plane. This is like an imaginary plane and we can see it here in this square box here that passes through the rotational centre of the eye. So here is the centre of the eye. We have the x-axis that runs through it and the z-axis that runs through this. Now, the y-axis is not considered to run through it because if you think about it, um, it's coming from uh, anteriorly, passes through the centre of rotation and then exits, um, exits um, posteriorly. So it only meets listings plane here, whilst the x and y actually run entirely through this imaginary plane. Now, the importance of this imaginary plane, listings plane, is that any movement into a tertiary position will involve a movement around listings plane. What does this mean? It means that if you're not purely, if this eye's not moving just uh, left or right or up or down, but wants to do a movement which combines horizontal and vertical, so if you want to move into a corner such as this, needs to do so within this plane. So if we look at an image here, we have the eye um, looking straight ahead. The eye wants to move left and up. In order to do this eye movement, the eye movement must occur around or within listings plane. Okay, this provides you with a brief introduction to uh, principles of eye movements and uh, brings me to the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching.